Hey, my beautiful beauties, my wonderful lovelies, a pleasant afternoon to you. This is something that I want people with a pure, pure heart to understand. That no matter how good you are as a human being, no matter how you know that. And it's not about perfection because we've all sinned and fallen short of God's glory. We've all made mistakes. We have hurt people done wrong, you know, all of that. But generally, you intend your intent is to be good and you try every day to be a better human being, you know, allowing the Holy Spirit to make you better. Somebody's going to think that you're not a good person. Someone will still believe in their heart of hearts that you're not a good person. They just, it, it's a false notion or they hold on to it because they don't want to feel too badly. Usually, they don't want to feel too badly to know that why this person is a decent human being and I'm really not one of good character, but I'm not going to have that thought about the person. I'm going to deliberately think and keep that thought that the person is not good. You see, even, in, even if, if you even make one mistake towards that individual, oh my God, they're going to hold on to it because it's ammunition for them to feel comfortable about thinking badly about you deep in their hearts you know the truth will be hitting them but they will fight it they will fight it and hold on to a negative view of you that is fine don't be daunted even if you feel daunted don't hold on to it act as if it doesn't bother you you know just bury it crush it don't give it any life any more than you would have probably given to it Look at Jesus, the purest human being, without guile, without fault, without blemish, flawless, completely. And the people said, give us the murderer and the rapist named Barabbas and crucify the pure one, the one who is without guile, the one who is not wicked, the one who is not evil, the one who is just solely good. Crucify him, send him to the gallows, so to speak. So I can you imagine you or I who are not perfect any at all. We are blemished. We are flawed. We have sinned. So I want you to just develop that thick skin and understand that no matter how you sweet and nice, somebody's going to think that you're sour, wicked and evil. And so what? Maybe it's a good thing. One less toxic person to deal with. All right, beauties. Follow me on TikTok. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this message.